Hello guys, my name is Meha Gupta. I am working with Academy of Structure Learning and in this particular video I will be taking up your orientation class or induction class where I will be briefing you about IELTS like what is IELTS and what are the eligibility requirement of IELTS and what modules are there in this and what is the basically difference between your academic and uh, general training exam. So let's begin the video. So first of all, what is IELTS? I hope you know the full form of IELTS. So the full form is International English Language Testing System. S means system. So this basically means that we don't have particular syllabus that we used to have in your CBSC board or ICSC board. This is a testing system. Okay. This is a testing system and this exam is conducted on international level which basically means that the exam that you are having in India is same or equivalent to the exam that you are having in at Canada. So uh, another thing is what is the eligibility requirement like who are eligible to take up the IELTS. Well, the age requirement is minimum age is 16 years and there's one more thing that one should have a valid passport. I hope that you all have passports uh, and if not, you should apply it ASAP. Okay, so next thing is so uh, eligibility requirement is that uh, minimum age is 16 years plus you need to have your valid passport which means that it should not be near to the expiry now another thing is another thing is like who is the person that sets the exam so the exam setter or the person who prepares your paper is University of Cambridge or some may call it Cambridge University it is University of Cambridge they set the exam if they set the exam then who are the ones who conduct uh, your exams at India level or Australia or Canada so basically there are two conducting bodies which is British Council many of you would be aware with this thing, thing that there are two conducting bodies British Council and IDP British Council is of British or naturally and IDP is IDP Australia okay so from 27th July 2021 onwards there is no British Council uh, in India. All of the business has been taken over by IDP from British Council. So as far as India is concerned, we have only one conducting body, which is IDP Australia. So now you, there is no di dilemma that whether to opt for a British Council exam or IDP exam. Like some of the students used to say that British Council exam uh, that in British Council exam they have hard speaking and uh, in your ID, IDP exam they, uh, the uh, checking criteria is hard for writing. So now there is nothing like that. Only we have IDP on board for India. IDP is the sole conducting body. Only conducting body. Conducting body. And if I talk about the fees, your examination fees is 14,700 right now. And this rate keeps on revising every April. Revised every April. Every year they revise this rate. So there is some kind of some percentage of in increment. Okay. So the next thing is what is the validity of this exam? What is the validity? 
so your exam is valid for two years from the date of TRF. Now, what is TRF? TR is basically like DMC, which you used to get in your 10th or 12th, which is like detailed marks card. And in your TRF, you get the individual score, like what you got in writing, speaking, reading, listening, as well as your overall score. Overall score. Okay. Now, your exam, as I said, that uh, it is valid for two years. Okay, so next thing is, when is your result announced? Okay, your result comes in 13, within 13 days, sorry, it's 13 days. Thirteen days. Thirteen days. Okay. Within thirteen days, you receive your result, and uh, you have complete. Uh, it is your choice that you can select your speaking slot. Like it is usually within seven days of your L R W. L R W means listening, reading, and writing. So your L R W is conducted within one day. And for speaking, you have different day, which is usually within seven days, uh, within seven days of your LRW. Okay, LRW S. We have four modules. There are four modules, which is listening, reading, writing, and speaking. I'm sorry for my writing. Okay. So there are four modules. The modules are same for academics as well as GT. There is no difference between the name of the modules. Okay. There is no difference. Okay. Next thing is what is listening? What is listening? So there are basically 40 questions and you are given 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Drop it. 30 minutes. There will be th audio of 30 minutes plus you will be getting 10 minutes extra to transfer your answers to your answer sheet. So if there are 40 questions, you will be given 40 minutes. 30 minutes, the audio clip is only for 30 minutes. 10 minutes are given extra to transfer your answers from your question paper to your answer sheet. Okay, now what is listening? Another thing. Listening is basically they will be giving you one audio. Uh, the audio will be played on the projector. You will be providing your earphones, your answer sheet. So the audio, uh, you are going to hear the audio uh, and simultaneously you need to answer the questions. Like there are some set of questions like uh, fill ups. Okay. Then there is MCQ. Multiple choice question. And the most trickiest out of the lot is map. So there will be map like they will be giving you the direction like go to left, go to south, uh, right, left, top, most, extreme, left, extreme, south. So many of the numerous students find difficulty with maps. Then there will be match the following. You need to match the information. So these are the set of questions that you will be getting in your listening. Now, the next module is reading. 
many of students have phobia of reading i don't know why the, they find it boring maybe boring as well as they think that this is art just out of the lot but that's not the case guys i got nine band in reading and i can uh, clearly say that this is the easiest module out of the lot in fact when i gave the exam uh, it took me around 35 minutes to solve the reading you get 60 minutes time given 60 minutes 60 minutes okay and you will have three sections like section 1 passage section 2 passage section 3 passage so section 3 passage is the section number 3 passage is the most trickiest most trickiest out of the lot and it will consume most of your time guys you should be allotting 25 minutes max to this as i said earlier that you will be getting only 60 minutes for this task and there will be no extra time like you got in your listening only 60 minutes you have three passages and in which in, in these three passages you will have again 40 questions although there will be detailed video of mine on how to solve the reading or reading tips and tricks or how i got band 9 in reading so uh, next thing is type of questions in reading what are the type of questions you get in your reading let me change the pen first type is fill in the blanks like fill ups there are two type of fill ups in this fill ups with the option with the options and fill ups without option now what is the difference what is this option thing option thing is like there is your uh, fill in the blanks this something is written this 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 so afterwards they are going to give you some options like the uh, information you have in your passage and the options that you are going to have in your uh, questions would be like synonyms or similar meanings or exact meanings so uh, for solving these this set of question you need to have deep insight into the synonym thing so with options is little bit tricky guys you need to be fully you know engrossed in your reading for this thing now next is without option without option this is easy this is the easiest although there are some uh, tips like i said earlier there are some tips to, uh, tips to solve this this kind of questions without option is basically you will be get in your academic uh, reading guys you will be getting everything in sequence S suppose there is one para like a number so your answers will be in sequence only Okay, little bit here and there, but fairly they will be in sequence. Fill ups, then multiple choice questions. Multiple choice question. Then there will be match the following. What is match the following? Match the following is basically like in your passage they have given the name of some scientist. like einstein newton or something something so there will be some information now what you need to do the info suppose in the number of informations they that they have given are more as compared to the name of the scientist so you need to match this okay this is match the following you need to match the information whatever has been given in your passage with the, the names of the scientist next is fourth number which is headings again this is complicated 
for solving this type of questions you need to have deep insight you need to have deep understanding of every passage every paragraph in your reading this basically is that suppose there is a para you need to give heading to this para you need to give heading to every para you will be given certain set of headings like 8 to 9 headings whereas you will be having five or six type of uh, heading numbers okay uh, in that in your instruction they may say that you can use uh, any information more than once so uh, these are some type of questions okay what what is left so these are basically vaguely your uh, set of type of questions okay next module is your writing writing module what is happening wait for a while writing so in your writing module this carries for this module you will be given 60 minutes and you will have two task in this task 1 task 2 and for task 1 you should be spending not more than 15 to 20 minutes and for task 2 you can have like 40 to 45 minutes depending upon the time you have spent on your task 1 and for task 2 you need to write 250 words and task 1 150 words okay now what is task 1 what is task 2 task 1 is your Uh, report writing now what is report writing in this you will be getting like 6 to 7 type of questions like earlier we uh, i hope you are all must be aware with stats statistics what is statistics like mean median mode or bar chart line chart in task task 1 is similar to that thing like they, you will be given bar chart and you need to describe that into your words bar chart or line chart there may be process chart like some process will be going on in process chart flow chart you may be given map as well one more thing is table chart so these are your set of questions for task 1 task 1 is fairly simple guys you just need to interpret your diagram into the words it is fairly simple now next is your task 2 task 2 is basically essay writing छोटे होते हुए जब टेंथ ट्वेल्थ में हमें आर्टिकल या स्पीच वगैरह लिखनी आती थी ना दिस इज सिमिलर टू दैट यू नीड टू राइट सम काइंड ऑफ एसे लाइक देर विल बी सम काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट लाइक आजकल के दिनों में बच्चे बच्चों को ज़्यादा फ्रीडम मिलती है पिछले जमाने के कंपेरेटिवली ऐसा कोई आपको एक जनरल स्टेटमेंट दे दी उसके बाद दे मे आस्क एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन डू यू एग्री और डिस मतलब क्या आप इस स्टेटमेंट से एग्री करते हैं या डिस करते हैं या फिर डिस्कस बोथ गिव योर ओपिनियन दोनों साइड्स को डिस्कस करके अपना ओपिनियन देना या फिर अगर आजकल ज़्यादा फ्रीडम मिल गई है तो इस चीज़ से क्या कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रही है कोई प्रॉब्लम उसके इफेक्ट्स या साथ में कोई सोल्यूशन पूछ सकते हैं मतलब जनरल स्टेटमेंट ये होगी उसमें आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं वो हैं फाइव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन होते हैं मतलब फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ ऐसे होते हैं वी विल बी टेकिंग दैट इन आर क्लास हम मैं आपको जस्ट ब्रीफली बता रही हूँ कि वॉट इज ऐसे राइटिंग 
ठीक है इट कैरीज लाइक सिक्स बैंड्स एंड योर टास्क वन कैरीज थ्री बैंड्स तो टोटल नाइन बैंड्स ओके देर आर सर्टेन स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर दैट लाइक वी हैव बैंड सेवन स्ट्रक्चर्स टू फॉलो टू गेट मोर देन सेवन बैंड ओके द नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल विच इज लेफ्ट इज योर स्पीकिंग गाइज सो इन स्पीकिंग देर आर थ्री स्टेजेज इन स्पीकिंग बेसिकली स्टेज वन स्टेज वन इन दिस स्टेज दे विल बी आस्किंग यू जनरल क्वेश्चन जनरल इंट्रोडक्टरी क्वेश्चन लाइक दे मे आस्क यू अबाउट रेन बुक्स कॉफी योर नेटिव प्लेस मतलब विच इज योर होम टाउन और अबाउट योर नेम इंट्रोडक्टरी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट स्टेज इज स्टेज नंबर टू देर इज योर क्यू कार्ड दे मे आस्क यू लाइक टू टू फोर टाइप ऑफ इंट्रोडक्टरी क्वेश्चन फोर टाइप्स एंड दे विल बी आस्किंग यू क्यू कार्ड वन क्यू कार्ड दे विल बी गिविंग यू वन स्टेटमेंट for cue card and you can think over that topic for 1 minute and you need to speak over that topic for 2 minutes 2 minutes speaking okay then afterwards in your stage 3 this is basically follow up like whatever was your cue card they may ask you questions linked to that cue card only linked to that cue card ठीक है इट मे द क्वेश्चन मे रेंज फ्रॉम फाइव टू सेवन क्वेश्चन सो दिस स्टेज इज द मोस्ट ट्रिकी स्टेज टू पास द रीजन वाई इट इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज जो आपकी वोकेबुलरी है जो आपके वर्ड्स हैं वो क्यू कार्ड में तक पहुंचते पहुंचते सब खत्म हो जाएंगे जब आप फॉलो अप में पहुंचेंगे आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि मैं वही चीजें रिपीट कर रहा हूँ और उन्होंने वही देखनी है कि आपकी लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स विच इज वो कैब कितनी बड़ी वो कैब है आपके पास मतलब ऑल दो इसमें क्रॉस क्वेश्चनिंग नहीं होती पर क्वेश्चन इस तरीके से ड्राफ्टेड है कि आपको जो एक बार स्टैंड ले लिया वहां पे यू हैव टू स्टे यू कान चेंज योर स्टेटमेंट वरना इससे क्या होगा कोहिरेंस कोहिजन होती है दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ योर चेकिंग कोहिरेंस कोहिजन इज बेसिकली तालमेल आपकी बातों का तालमेल कहीं आप अपनी बातों को ही तो नहीं कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट कर रहे या फिर आप आप जो अभी चीज बोल रहे हो उसका कोई लिंक ही नहीं बन रहा ऑफ टॉपिक तो नहीं जा रहे दिस इज बेसिकली कोहिरेंस एंड कोहिजन काफी स्टूडेंट्स को इसमें प्रॉब्लम आती है कोहिरेंस एंड कोहिजन ठीक है सो योर स्पीकिंग इंटरव्यू रेंजेस फ्रॉम लाइक नाइन टू फोर्टीन मिनट्स अभी कोरोना के टाइम पे जो चल रही हैं स्पीकिंग्स काफ़ी वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के थ्रू हो रही हैं एंड अगर वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के थ्रू नहीं हो रही तो यू हैव टू टेक योर मास्क ऑन चिल्ड्रन आर फेसिंग टू मच डिफिकल्टी विद दिस टाइप ऑफ स्पीकिंग क्योंकि जो आप वर्ब की फॉर्म्स बोलते हो ईडी वाली वो सुना ही नहीं देती मोर ओवर जो टेबल होता है वो बहुत लंबा टेबल होता है अगर आपका मास्क थोड़ा सा भी नीचे हुआ दे विल स्टार्ट पॉइंटिंग ऑन कि आप मास्क ऊपर कीजिए और आप अपने घर वाले मास्क भी नहीं लेके जा सकते आप जब पहुंचोगे वेन्यू पे वो डिस्पोज करवा देंगे अपने मास्क देंगे आपको ठीक है तो दैट्स वाई देर इज इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन योर हॉल टिकेट दैट यू नीड टू डू प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योर स्पीकिंग वाइल वियरिंग मास्क ठीक है तो मास्क के साथ स्पीकिंग करने की प्रिपरेशन करनी है और जो मैं स्पीकिंग की बात कर रही हूँ स्पीकिंग के लिए ना एक ऑलरेडी सर्कुलेट हो जाती है पीडीएफ डी मक्कड़ आइल की पीडीएफ होती है उसमें बेसिकली गेस्ट वर्क होता है जो आपको क्यू कार्ड थ्री मंथ की आती है जो आपको थ्री मंथ में क्यू कार्ड आएंगे उनकी एक वो एग्जॉस्टिव लिस्ट बना लेते हैं उससे बाहर कुछ नहीं होता थोड़े बहुत चेंजेस होते हैं जैसे कभी इंटरनेशनल पूछ लिया कभी नेशनल पूछ लेंगे कोई लाइक टॉक अबाउट एन एथलीट योर फेवरेट एथलीट तो थोड़ा चेंजेस चेंज करके दे मैं आस्क यू लाइक 
टॉक अबाउट योर फेवरेट इंटरनेशनल एथलीट ठीक है इस टाइप की थोड़ी चेंजेस होती हैं जो स्टोरी होती है वो आप चला सकते हो अपनी आगे दिस यू हैव टू चेंज द नेम बेसिकली ही इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन योर ट्रुथ ही इज मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन योर लेक्सिकल रिसोर्स ओके स्टोरी में उसको कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है उसने जस्ट आपकी रेंज देखनी है ग्रामेटिकल रेंज देखनी है ग्रामेटिकल रेंज एंड एक्यूरेसी दिस इज ऑल्सो वन पैरामीटर फॉर जजिंग योर स्पीकिंग ग्रामेटिकल रेंज एंड एक्यूरेसी ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट योर अकेडमिक्स नो वट आर द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन अकेडमिक एंड जी टी एग्जाम Do you know uh, who gives academic exam or who opts for GT exam? GT is general training. Any idea? What is the difference between academic and general training exam? Or who can go for academic exam and who can go for the general training? So the uh, students who are going on study visa, they need to take up this academic exam. And the people who are interested to go there for work with work permit or for pr purpose they take general training exam now i have told you about the format of academic now there is a little bit difference between academic and general training your listening is same there is no any difference between listening it is same same and next is reading in general training reading you will be getting 5 to 6 passages the length of passage is shorter as compared to academic uh, reading the length of passage is shorter okay i think this is easy this is more easy than your academic reading okay this was the difference between uh, lis uh, listening was i said same reading there was little bit difference between reading now writing your task two is same like essay is same so where is the difference your task one you have letter writing in this like we used to do in school principal ko likhte the ya school teacher ko likhte the school in charge ko likhte the ki कि आस्किंग फॉर वन डे लीव सिक लीव लेटर राइटिंग सिक लीव यूज टू बी योर फॉर्मल राइटिंग सो दर थ्री टाइप ऑफ लेटर राइटिंग फॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल सेमी फॉर्मल सेमी फॉर्मल the uh, word limit is same वन फिफ्टी words for task वन 250 words for task 2 also the time allotted is also same you will be getting 60 minutes only and you need to allot like not more than 12 minutes to this task and the rest of time you should be allotting to your task 2 because it carries higher band score quite obviously now is there any difference between speaking so there is no any difference between the format of speaking only they will be judging you in different way the theek hai there is uh, the parameters for speaking is same for academic and gt but they can grill you more in gt theek hai they can grill you more because they know that jo academic take up kar rahe hain wo students hai aur jo gt take up kar rahe hain unhone either work visa pe jana hai ya pr to wo aapko grill kar sakte hain thoda Okay, so this was the brief about your IELTS. IELTS. I hope, guys, आपको ये video अच्छी लगी हो and thank you. And I hope मैं आपको थोड़ी information add कर पाई हूँ For more videos, stay tuned. Thank you.